In the vastness of space, a band of unlikely heroes known as the Guardians of the Galaxy must join forces to save the universe from a cosmic threat. Get ready for a cosmic adventure filled with humor, action, and a killer mixtape. In 1988, young Peter Quill is in a hospital listening to music when his mother, who is very ill, gives him a gift and tells him he's like his angelic father. She passes away, and Peter, feeling overwhelmed, runs outside where he is suddenly taken by a spaceship. In 2014 on the planet Morag, Peter Quill, also known as Star-Lord, searches for a mysterious orb while listening to his music. He's attacked by Karath and his crew, but manages to escape with the orb. Yondu, who raised Peter, wants the orb, but Peter decides to sell it himself. Yondu's crew questions his leniency with Peter, but he's focused on discovering who else wants the orb. Karath informs Ronan, who's on a Kree warship called the Dark Aster, that he couldn't get the orb, and Peter has it. Ronan plans to use the orb to have Thanos destroy Xander. To retrieve the orb, Ronan sends Gamora, despite objections from Nebula, Thanos' daughter. Peter tries to sell the orb on Xander, but learns that Ronan's after it too. Stan Lee makes a cameo as a chatty old man on Xander, amusingly called a pervert by Rocket. Gamora attacks Peter, and they're joined by Rocket Raccoon and Groot, who want a reward for Peter. They all get arrested by the Nova Corps and end up in the Kiln, a space prison. In prison, everyone wants to harm Gamora, because they think she's connected to the bad guy Ronan. Drax, another prisoner, wants to avenge his family by hurting someone from Ronan's family and he's after Gamora. But Gamora claims she's not related to Ronan and was actually going to betray him. Peter defends Gamora. Ronan meets Thanos and informs him that Gamora has betrayed him. Ronan gets angry and kills one of Thanos's assistant. Thanos orders Ronan to deal with Gamora and retrieve the orb, warning that he'll be in big trouble if he fails. Thanos also mentions that Gamora is his favorite daughter, which upsets Nebula. In the prison, Gamora wants to sell the orb to someone else, and Peter, Rocket, and Groot agree to help for a share of the reward. Rocket plans an escape, but needs some items. Groot grabs the needed battery first, setting off alarms. Gamora and Peter also get what they need, and Drax decides to join the escape to help protect Gamora and get his revenge on Ronan. The group successfully collects the items needed for their escape plan and reaches a guard station at the top of the prison. Rocket jokes about not needing the prosthetic leg, but they manage to escape by using the items to manipulate gravity and use security droids as makeshift jets. Peter briefly leaves the group to retrieve his Walkman and awesome mixtape from a guard before rejoining them. Yondu tracks down the broker to find out Peter still has the orb. Meanwhile, aboard Peter's ship, the group's members start to interact and bond in their own ways. They reach nowhere, a space station built inside a celestial severed head, where they plan to meet the Collector. While waiting, some of them get drunk and gamble, while Peter and Gamora connect over music. Peter shares the mixtape his mom made, and they have a moment together. Peter tries to charm her, but she resists, asserting her independence. Peter even mentions a story about people who didn't dance called Footloose. Before meeting the Collector, a drunken fight breaks out among Drax, Rocket, and Groot. Peter defuses the situation. Drax secretly contacts tax Ronan. The collector, owner of an eccentric collection, examines the orb. It turns out to hold an infinity stone, one of six powerful objects created during the Big Bang. His assistant tries to steal it, but is consumed by its power, causing an explosion. The group narrowly survives with the infinity stone and decides to take it to Nova headquarters for safety, as it's too dangerous elsewhere. Ronan and his gang attack the group after Drax's call. Yondu's crew, led by Yondu, arrives as well, tracking Peter. Gamora, Rocket, and Peter flee in separate ships, while Nebula and Ronan's henchmen pursue them. Drax confronts Ronan, but is severely overpowered. Nebula pursues Gamora's ship beyond the atmosphere, destroying it. She seizes the Infinity Stone and abandons Gamora to drift in space, facing certain death. Peter, realizing he can't let Gamora perish, contacts Yondu to reveal his location. He then leaves his ship, joining Gamora in space, and shares his gas mask to save her life. Yondu arrives just in time, using a tractor beam to rescue Peter and Gamora from the brink of freezing in space. It's revealed that Yondu's ship is the same one that kidnapped Peter when he was a child. Meanwhile, aboard the Dark Aster, Ronan informs Thanos that he now possesses the Infinity Stone and intends to eliminate Thanos from their agreement. Instead, Ronan plans to annihilate Xander personally and then target Thanos. He inserts the Infinity Stone 
stone into his hammer. On Yandu's ship, Yandu contemplates executing Peter for his betrayal. However, Yandu changes his mind when Peter outlines a strategy to recover the orb. Simultaneously, on Nowhere, Drax, Brute, and Rocket unite to rescue Peter and Gamora from Yandu. They pilot the Milano to Yandu's vessel and issue an ultimatum, release Peter and Gamora or face destruction from a specialized weapon crafted by Rocket. Peter steps forward within the throng on Yandu's ship and convinces Rocket that he doesn't require rescuing. Aboard the Milano, Peter reveals their mission, stop Ronan from using the Infinity Stone to destroy Xander. He admits to having only a 12% plan, met with doubt. Groot, via Rocket, notes it's better than 11%. Peter, emphasizing their losses, convinces them to fight. They all agree to join the battle. Peter cautions the Nova Corps about Ronan's imminent attack and urges them to believe him despite not being entirely heartless. Rocket's plan involves breaching Ronan's ship for Peter, Groot, Drax, and Gamora to infiltrate. Gamora Gamora aims to disable security, and Rocket has a cannon to destroy Ronan. The plan is executed, Rocket creates a breach, Yondu and his crew assist in defending Xander, and Gamora combats Nebula. Meanwhile, Drax, Peter, and Groot head to the ship's bridge. Nova ships unite, creating a colossal net to decelerate the Dark Aster's descent. Gamora emerges victorious against Nebula, who escapes on a commandeered Ravager ship, ejecting its pilot. Ronan commands his ships to launch suicide attacks on Xander. Rocket and Yondu's crew engage in fierce combat, attempting to take down as many enemy ships as possible. Close to reaching the bridge, Drax eliminates Karath, while Groot employs a long, slender branch to dispatch numerous of Ronan's soldiers. Eventually, the team assembles on the bridge to confront Ronan. Despite their combined efforts, Ronan proves too formidable. Peter shoots Ronan with Rocket's potent cannon, to no avail. Rocket steers the Milano into the bridge, seemingly obliterating Ronan. With the ship hurtling towards Xander, Groot creates a massive protective nest for for them all, sacrificing himself for their safety. Rocket, saddened by Groot's choice, knows it will cost Groot his life. In response to Rocket's distress, Groot, who had previously only said, I am Groot, utters, We are Groot. The ship crashes, and everyone survives, except Groot who lies as a pile of scattered twigs. However, the battle isn't over yet, Ronan is still alive and unharmed. In a sarcastic tone, he dubs Peter and his crew the Guardians of the Galaxy. As Ronan raises his hammer for a final strike, Quill stands up and initiates a dance to the tune of Uu Child. He challenges Ronan to a dance-off, confusing the villain. Peter then reveals that the dance was a distraction, as Drax and Rocket shoot Ronan's hammer, freeing the Infinity Stone. Peter seizes the stone before Ronan can, but holding it begins to Harm him. Gamora urges Peter to take her hand, and he recalls a moment from his past when he failed to hold his mom's hand. This time, he grasps Gamora's hand. Drax and Rocket also join in, and together, they absorb the power from the Infinity Stone. A surge of energy obliterates Ronan. Gamora contained the stone by placing it in an orb. Yondu arrives to collect the orb, and Peter seemingly hands it over. Rocket collects one of Groot's twigs. Gamora is angry Peter gave up the stone, but he reveals he swapped the orbs and still has the one with the stone. At Nova HQ, they deliver the orb containing the Infinity Stone. Peter discovers he's only half human and half an enigmatic ancient species, possibly explaining his ability to handle the stone's power. A celebration ensues on Yandu's ship, with his crew reveling in their victory. Yandu becomes curious and opens the orb, only to find a troll doll inside. He grins with amusement. Peter finally unwraps the gift his mother left him before her passing, a cassette labeled Awesome Mix, tape number two. He turns to the Guardians and asks where they'd like to go next. Gamora encourages him to lead, calling him Star-Lord. Peter suggests they embark on an adventure that combines both goodness and mischief. Rocket holds a pot containing the twig he saved from Groot's sacrifice revealing a small Groot face sprouting from it. Amid the credits, Baby Groot grooves in his plant pot to Quill's 1980s tunes, with Drax observing in the background, and pauses when Drax glances at him but resumes dancing once Drax looks away. After the credits, the collector perches on the debris, sipping his drink, when Cosmo, the Soviet space dog, approaches and gives him an affectionate lick. A voice off-screen comments on the act, deeming it gross. The camera reveal Howard the Duck seated on a damaged cage, also enjoying a drink. And the movie ends here. Thank you for watching, and I highly recommend watching the entire movie as it is incredibly enjoyable. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, so you can stay updated and receive notifications whenever we upload new videos.